in the future, I will be able to say you fail a will save. Oh. No, no, oh. no. <laughs> oh, that's a... Do not give Gabe the will save failure card. Yes. <laughs> Do not. We have... Uh, not been playing for a little while, because, you know, the holidays and all that. So let's get a little recap going. Uh, last session, uh, you all went to the top of Dead Man's Drop, faced off against a uh, burbling water elemental, a huge water elemental. Uh, you defeated it, just barely. Many of you were injured in the process. Uh, but you managed to survive. And you got up on land with some treasure. And some stones. Uh, and as you were sort of recovering. Uh, you watched as uh, appearing from the brush. Uh, on the cliffside behind. Uh, the dual waterfalls uh, was about 30, 40 uh, brigands uh, with ballistae, each holding darts. You heard Tenzakil's voice echoing as it once did, uh, and he called for your surrender. And you realize that he's not going to let you leave. He might be saying that he'll let you live, but it's not going to happen. So you bought time by threatening uh, to break uh, some of the ward stones that they were using. Uh, and during that time... Uh, you were sort of like looking for a way to escape. You saw that your, your path downwards off of Dead Man's Drop was blocked off by uh, some sneaking brigands. Uh, and then, out of thin air, uh, teleporting in was a bunch of unicorns. Uh, and they carried you away uh, on the unicorn back. Uh, and you managed to leave, uh, -huh. eventually arriving in, uh, a conclave of forest people, uh, -huh. and that is where you are now. Um, I'm going to just read that last description that I gave. Uh, the unicorns abruptly arrive within a forest glade, unaffected by the strange mist that has blanketed the forest for the past several days. Instead, fairy lights illuminate the clearing, dancing between the trees. Several creatures look up at your arrival, a host of centaurs, wood elves, satyrs, and sprites. Uh, all part of an encampment clearly armed for war. So, go ahead and throw yourselves down. Oh, oh. Sleepy on the scene. <coughs> Is it just me or like everything blurry? Uh, yeah, it's... I mean, it might just take a little while to load. No, 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 I don't want to. Well, I just realized that I have been muted in the recording this entire time, but now it can hear me. Nice. Welcome. Uh, 
Yeah. So, uh, uh, you see this large collection, Fay, uh, and you see a circle uh, of mushrooms, and uh, Palombier will say, uh, and you, you hear these uh, four are arguing about what should be done. Uh, and the rest of the Fae, there's more than just are represented in this area, but these are the only relevant ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, these ones are uh, arguing about what should be done, uh, and uh, there's a sort of split. Uh, these two uh, the leaders of the Fae Court uh, think nothing should be done. Uh, this fellow, uh, thinks that, uh, they should, uh, crush the, uh, the threatening, uh, fell knight, uh, before it takes over, uh, the fey realms as well. If you're uh, thinking, we can't see. Uh, yes, I am in, you know, this guy is, thinks crush the fell knight. These people think ignore it. Uh, and this lady's like, hey, I've seen what uh, the people of Bellis have done to the forests. They've cleared out the jungle, hacked down trees, uh, and ripped them out to clear out areas uh, for their flowers and bees uh, and their farms. So she's like, eh, let's join them. Actually, uh, and Palombie introduced, I think, each of them last time. Uh, but this is uh, Malagora and uh, Arifa, and they are uh, the uh, leaders of the Fey Court. Uh, Malagor is the leaders of the Satyr, uh, and uh, Arifa is the leaders of the Nymphs. Uh, and Ego, Ego, uh, is uh, the leaders of the uh, local uh, Uh, Oreus is the leaders of the local uh, centaur tribe, uh, and uh, Ego is the leader of the uh, local uh, Ekaje. What is an Ekaje? They're uh, jungle elves, right? Oh, yeah. that's what uh, Heavy used to be, right? That's what Heavy. Well, he was a half elf, but yeah, yeah. Uh. Um. Uh. So a quick hurdle to get our pitch straight and then set tone in. <laughs> All right. Uh. So, my thoughts. Here's here's what I'm thinking. These people uh, the springings the fell night they ain't just gonna stop when our towns the, the towns destroyed they already attacked uh, the the the, the re, re, er, not a rain the unicorn palombier palombier and uh, killed fierce sisters and our good old buddy, the Ver, a witch took over his mind that was controlled by, or got influenced by the Fel Knight. If I'm not mistaken, they've been hurting the f- first world. We're not, we're not 100% sure on the motivations of Tensakil, but he never felt quite welcomed in the, in the community. Motivations be damned. Uh, they've hurt both the they've hurt both the Primaterial and the First World 
Tarku might just be the primary to first, but then it's gonna be the first. They've world already world. attacked the first world. They yeah. killed Fira, they attacked Palombier, they, uh... They attacked Vinroot, didn't they? I think they started burning this forest. Uh... They can't see that they're not gonna stop at Bellis, then, uh... They are not as smart as I give them credit for. Yeah, why are they gathering an army just to take out a small town? I, I feel like yeah. some of the army is under that, uh... The centaur fella. Who... As long as that, uh... Uh, I go uh, as long as she doesn't come out on top of this I feel like we're good I don't think we need their help uh, but I sure would appreciate it I mean I think we would want their help we yeah. don't have the numbers to fucking fight 40 springings uh, and put me on top of a cliff and I can take care of them <laughs> <laughs> I think we were on top of the cliff and we ran away bravely. <laughs> they were, weren't they up the cliff? And we just fought. That doesn't count. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I mean, I want their help. I'm just saying, uh, I also don't want to be their enemies. Yeah. So, home. Yes. By a resident wordsmith. I hope you're ready. I. Hmm. You don't need to say yes, I'm gonna help you. Boom, lucky number. Maybe, maybe it'll help. Maybe is should I roll? Uh I'll roll. This is my this is my roll for you. Uh, that'll three. help that'll that's help. A, that's a good lucky number to That's a good lucky a number roll. roll. Uh, right, and then you know, also her main potential. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, looks at boulders. Yeah, the next two skill checks you take have five e advantage, and I'm gonna just be <laughs> hold my action for fucking fortune <laughs> if he if he beefs it. <laughs> Hopefully, we roll. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. So that's that's going to be for later. Yeah, for later. In case you beef it, <laughs> you're not going to you're not going to beef it. It is always good to have a contingency, regardless. Thank you. Yes. Uh, that's all I got. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I have, uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking just like massaging your soldiers sitting in here, like, come on, don't you got this? You can handle it. You in the corner, like a boxing coach? Yeah, like a boxing coach. <laughs> You're gonna tell them how to do it. You can tell them what they need to hear. You got this, don't you understand what we need to say? You got it. Please, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally under control, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. we can tell. <laughs> That's how I would describe you. Under control. Huh? Uh, okay. I think that's all I have. Anybody uh, else? Yeah, does anyone else want to do anything? Also, be aware, like, you don't need to just help with magic you can roll to aid uh is this a diplomacy? jump in the circle with them uh yeah you can roll to aid with diplomacy and all you have to beat if is we, a man if we fail does it hurt it doesn't no aiding nope. doesn't hurt it does not hurt. uh aided uh you have to do it in character yeah you that's you fine. have to go I'll, into the circle with yeah them. I, right. I anticipated it would be a full conversation I, Sleepy knows he's not that charismatic. He said he knows he's, he he knows he could be abrasive. He's just gonna handle the magic. And that's all he, he, he realizes. He needs to shut up. 
Uh, is anyone else heading into the circle be beyond uh, our good wizard? If it's the only thing I can do, I will. Yeah. I will also. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna... I... Here's my diplomacy. I guess I'll try a little something something too. Um, That's the, the aid diplomacy, sorry. You know what? Actually, before we start, I forgot to do something. Oh? Uh, at the beginning of the game, so this is probably going to be table talk. Yes. Okay. We can start back up. Uh, so okay. you're heading into the circle. Uh, yes, you've yes. been guidanced, fortuned, every fucking thing in the, ex <laughs> in the world. <laughs> There's a lucky number in there. Lucky number three, come on, baby, let's roll the three so you can re-roll it. So, so people may argue that you are lucky. Um, so you enter into the circle, and uh, the person who addresses you first is uh, this... Oh, why am I on GM layer? There we go. Uh, is this lady right here. Uh, show to players. Uh, a satyr. Uh, and she will turn to look at you, uh, raise an eyebrow, and say, uh... So, is there a reason why you've entered the circle? You don't look like familiar faces to me. Uh, and... Palombier will say, uh, these are the heroes that I spoke of. The ones who have entered the first world to deal with our problems for us. And you, you sense there's some, like, judgment behind that. Uh, can I roll a nature check as to the etiquette of addressing, uh, fake courts? Uh, yes. Uh, roll knowledge. This would actually just be a knowledge nobility. <laughs> oh, oh, Damn it, I wasted my luck. <laughs> you have to roll twice, actually, because her main potential... Yes. Oh, yeah. is the next roll? Oh, actually, it's the, the next two rolls. Next, the next, next two no, rolls, you have, okay. You have okay. another one. Yep. And I still have <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! No, no, yeah, I you wasted your luck! Back. Holy <laughs> god! Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> this is a good... This, uh, is, this is gonna go so poorly. <laughs> she, uh, you would know uh, that uh, the proper way to uh, influence uh, someone like this... Or not to influence someone like this, to uh, talk to someone like this... Is uh, a addressal of a title. Uh, for the uh, Fey Courts uh, in this size of wood, it would probably be uh, a Baron. Uh, or in this case, a Baroness. Uh, uh, and that would apply to Aritha as well. All right. Uh, Toad would, Toad would, uh, bow deeply and say, uh, I am, I am one of the, I am one of the heroes, uh, uh, Havel Kojak, uh, your Baroness, and I simply wish to, uh, beseech the, the courts, uh, on the, on, <clears throat> on, on what to do about the, uh, the Fell Knight and how you, uh, and how the town of Bellus ought to be considered. Uh, and your, you plan on convincing us of what our action, we've never done anything to aid the people of Bellus. We keep ourselves separate of your material world because, well, to be perfectly honest, it's poison to ourselves. I mean, we've seen what's happened to the gnomes. 
When they leave the first world, their bodies, they break down, become pale reflections of themselves. Those who stay in the first world live happy lives, free of bleaching. Have I noticed, have I gotten everyone's attention at this point? Yes. Uh, I think Tone would step forward and say, uh, I am aware of the implications of piercing uh, the material plane for your kind. I, I, I am aware of the risks, but I wish for you to consider the following. Bellus is a place where weary mortals have come to rest. They seek peace and have renounced, uh, renounced their past of war and destruction that you've come to known mortals for. But Queen Roslyn and her Spriggans have denied Bellus that choice. They have set fire to their forests, attacked their people, brought rot and dis- uh, wrath and destruction. Ignorance is not an excuse for what Bellus has done to your forests. Uh, but ignorance is to be corrected, not punished. If the Fell Knight is left unattended, then the cycle of violence shall continue between mankind and the Fell Knight. And if the Fell Knight is left unattended, then the forest itself shall burn. Uh, Talon, oh. Ego is going to shout over you. Uh, Ego is going to say, Silence, butcher! Oh, oh fuck. no. Fuck. You enter our lands and speak of a place of peace. I know your face. Um, I was at the port you burned. My mother was a slave there. If you want any of us to believe the you come here seeking peace you f- you speak of Bellis as a peaceful place Bellis is no peaceful place even now they build siege weapons you think they will not enter the forest bring war here might as well crush them stamp them out let the fires die down. Uh, go ahead and roll a diplomacy check. Okay, here goes. Uh, you did address them properly, so you are inf- rolling to influence uh, Malagora right now. Uh, so you get a plus five on this. Okay. Uh, so that'd be a six in total from the guidance. Oh, I know the guidance has already expired, so uh, plus five in total. Okay, first roll. Come on. 31. Nice. That's pretty nice. good. Second one. Nice. 37. That's hard to beat. <laughs> okay. Uh, Malagora. Uh, no, actually, uh, Arifa is going to say, Ego, quiet yourself. Whatever you know of this man, you can speak about it later. Do not bring up these slanders uh, in the open circle. With, this with- is a place of politics, not of scandal. With all, with all due respect, I believe he is in his, within his rights to voice his concerns. She. It is true. Uh, she. Here, give me a second. I'll, oh. I'll give you guys a vision of uh, Ego and also uh, Arifa. No. Oh, it's just... Arifa was the one that called me out, right? No, Ego was. Oh, Ego, Ego was. sorry. I got it backwards. Man, uh, I got all of these spellings wrong. Uh, yes. So, so, so Tone will say, Ego was within their right to call me out. It is true that I have caused great pain and suffering, needless suffering in my past. 
I, more than anyone, know the danger of fire. And it's fire that is what's returned to this forest, what has been brought by the Fell Knight. I, not, I do not ask for your forgiveness of one person, one foolish mortal who made a horrible mistake with lives that have been forever extinguished. But what I do ask for you is to consider the ramifications of your actions here today, that this pain, that this loss could be stopped. Palomir can tell all of you of what happened to the Dryads, of what the Fell Knight did to them, of what the Spriggan Warband did. The humans are gearing for war because fire has already come to them. They are blind, they are confused, and without proper guidance, then the cycle shall never end. But you have the power invested within you by your, by your fantastical realm, by your beautiful realm, to help stop this before it breaks out and gets worse. Kareen Roslin has disrupted the balance between this forest. If not quelled now by a united front, she threatens not just the mortals, but the Fey Courts as well. Please consider. And, and, uh, and Helen will bow his head to Ego specifically. Uh, Aureus is going to speak up. Uh, he's going to say, uh, do you have any proof of this fire? Do you have any other witnesses? Uh, and he seems to be trying to aid you, uh, and he glance, glances at the other people who have entered the circle. <laughs> uh, Good Last Snow, don't, Last Snow has the, uh, the token that the Living Dryad has. <gasps> oh, yeah. that's right! Um, or that the Living Dryad gave. <clears throat> I'll just... I, yeah, I'll just move forward and pull out the flower that Fira gave and um, just kind of hold it up and show it. It's like I was giving a token by Fira her, herself as we came to aid her and Palamdir. Um, we were too late to save her sisters, but we were here to help. And the fire has reached them before it has reached the town. And do not think that the, the fire that... the this evil will spread, will stop at the town. It will envelop all of us. Uh, you say Fira, uh, smiling at you uh, from uh, behind the uh, circle of mushrooms. Mm. Uh, you can go ahead and roll to aid. Uh, uh, can no? I use that roll I already used? Aid? Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. I did that 19 diplomacy. Gotcha. So that's what let's do. <laughs> and could I do the cast remain potentially again, or would it be rude to do it again? Um. Would I know? Make a knowledge nobility check. Shit. Is it a 10? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. It would be DC 10. Uh, yes, it would be super rude. I see Sleepy going to do that, and I elbow him like. No, he, he got he got it. He got oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, I, I, was, I, was, I, I looked I at my, my own role. I was in my I was in my thinking mode. Uh, I was like, yeah, put on the thinking cap. But the would fortune work because it's not like a well, spell. That's like, yes, that would be easier to do without anyone noticing. Well, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll just take a step back, just trying to be a little bit, a little, little bit more out of the way I think uh, uh, Tone will say uh, my companions can adv advocate for the for the people of Belus they they may gear for war now but you, you will find within their hearts a desire to lay down their weapons to refo uh, to renounce uh, to renounce these these foolish pursuits of vain glory and treasure. Ne what we are seeing is turning over a new leaf to continue on and find peace within this world. These are not your enemy. These are your... Uh, 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 these could be your allies. Uh, uh, I'll gesture to uh, the heavy and uh, two time. Could I uh, get a uh, roll? You have a plus seven on this one. You're trying to convince Arifa. Uh yeah. You have a plus two from last now. And yep, I'm so five plus from seven. using the, yeah. 
All right, thank you, Plasto. Let's go. Come on. Wait. Nice. Nice. Uh, fortune was not used on that one, I assume. Sleeper. No. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, I, assume, I assume ego is gonna be one of the other ones we have to try and convince, and I want one to try and save it for her. Uh, Arifa will uh, look to Malgora and then, like, sort of like throw herself like a little bit, like, uh, like daintily over her shoulders and uh, say, uh, "My love, I think these people. Uh, we should listen to them." And Malgora says. Uh, I think I'm going to have to assent. Uh, I think I'm going to have to assent. I forgot I was Irish. Uh, <laughs> All right, it happens to everyone. Uh, these these people, uh, Ego, I know you hold great enmity for one of them, but they bring truth into this circle. As far as I've seen, all you've had is spite. Uh, we must work on truth. Not on spite, if we wish to survive. Uh, and Aureus will say, uh, I assent as well. Ego, your agreeing is more of a formality at this point. Do not break our circle for your spite. If... Uh, if... And... Oh, no, continue. Ego will say, uh... You may be able to see past humanity's brutality, but I cannot. I've lived among them. I've seen what they do to their own people. What they do to us. What they would do to centaurs and satyrs. They would have you behind plows pushing them like draft horses. They would have you sing in their courts, play your pan flutes for them at their every command. They are slavers through and through. There are some <laughs> that, uh, that do that. Uh, but being honest with you. Oh, oh my God. Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? I thought that, that was, was a war cool. cry. No. Just to attack two times. I was like, oh, shit. You were going to say something, Ben? I'm sorry. Who, who was it? I think was it was that? Gabe. Gabe, was that a sneeze or are you being murdered? That was a sneeze. I just sneeze like that, okay? <laughs> just sounded crazy on the, the new mic. No, it's it sounds crazy on every mic. Trust me. Um. So yeah. Um. When when she like is talking about you know slavers and whatnot, heavy. Uh, heavy will uh, just sort of like step forward a bit and say, "I know that people from uh, the material plane are." Not always the best. I experienced my fair share of it growing up. Just as much in adulthood. But... There are perhaps not as many good people as cruel people. But that does not mean that you should pretend they don't exist. And if you just give up, if you decide that you would rather have this self-proclaimed queen than the various peoples of the material plane, just ask yourself, what if you're next? What if once she has wiped out all of the people you think of as enemies, she decides that you are next. Just because you might, if you get lucky, have something to gain from letting her roam free, or even joining her, does not mean that it won't come at a price. And then I'll sort of step back. Well, 
roll diplomacy, I'm guessing, to aid. Aid, I... I have a minus one to charisma and no ranks in diplomacy because I have no skill ranks. Yeah. Hey, hey, I nice. aid. Nice. Oh yeah, I've also got the two energy drains, so it's that's functionally you have. functionally at a minus three. Hey, you did great. I hate I hate the I hate the humans are not uh frankly that doesn't matter here. Uh the heavy's right. Uh it doesn't stop with them. She takes Bellis. Then what? You've already seen what they're doing here. They've already attacked the first world. And speaking to you, frankly and honestly, the people of Bellis are no threat. They can't. If we weren't there, uh, they'd be dead. They are, uh... Bellis is a town that is, uh... Not a threat to anybody. Much less a, uh... A group of people like you. Uh... Two time. Mm Mm-hmm. For a moment, Snapjaw is there as well. Uh oh. Like in your mind, like he's okay. sharing it for a moment. Uh, and you remember your vision as you were inducted into the Lizard Folk Village. And you know that what you said not fully true that wherever humans end up eventually everything will be theirs and I need you to roll a bluff check instead of a diplomacy to fuck can I can I cast fortune hey. on him Sure. Natural but 19. He passed. <laughs> Great. Yeah, because I was also I was like, ah, no, that's not exactly true. So for the actual proper diplomacy check, because fortune gives what? Plus... It's a reroll. Oh, it's re-roll. a reroll. It's your yeah. main potential, but I can cast it on a per person. Yeah. It's uh, even so, like, a reroll uh-huh. is more effective on the one that counts than the one that gives a no. plus two. But he can use it on multiple people. Uh, okay, never mind. I don't, I'm a uh, yeah, I'm I don't so, need I'm it. Like, yeah, when when it's Tone's turn, Tone, Tone's the okay. crucial. So, yeah, Tone, what do you say? Yes. Uh, Tone will take a deep breath, uh, uh, brings it, uh, and take one step forward and say, I go, I, I do not blame you for your feelings, nor, nor am I... Nor am I surprised you feel this way about mortals. Mortals are foolish. Mortals are fickle. Mortals are temporary. But throughout all of the horrible things that have been done in the name of some long forgotten uh, mortal king's uh, desires or fancy, what persists within our cultures on the material plane are stories. You speak of the horrible atrocities committed against the centaurs, against the sneakers, but for every horrible culture that that forever scarred inside uh, that relationship- Can I stop you? Because you so- might hurt your own point uh, more than Tone would. Uh, she was not saying that that is what would happen. She she is saying, that, she's not saying that that was what happened. No, no, what is that, that, it's that what is would. what happen. Oh, what, uh, what, oh, I see. She is the child of a Ekuje slave, like a elven slave. So mortals, she is a mortal. She is a fully oh, mortal. I see. She is saying I see. that if you allow humans, shellish humans, probably, yeah, real. Uh, yeah. into your midst, they will destroy everything. <laughs> Bellis yeah, isn't 
Chelish, right? Yes. Well, uh, it's Sargavan, which is a colony of Ch- Chelyax. Well, it was a colony of Chelyax. So it's it's uh, disconnected. Chelish once removed on its mother's side. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. Uh, I, but yes, I think, I think Tone. Yeah, Tone would would slightly recommend that. But yeah, but he would say is that uh, for for horrible nations that would exploit, that would that would destroy. There are cultures that ad, that admire uh, the Fey the 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 Fey courts that admire the the natural beauties of this world. Uh, I was raised on stories of uh, of glorious centaurs, of ingenious satyrs, uh, and I see only uh, I see only beauty here. I, and I want to fight to protect and preserve it as much as any of you. And I, I think you will find that the people of Belus, those who have renounced war, those who have tried to distance themselves from those that would do you harm, seek only the same, even if they do not know it yet. And you will hang its head. Uh, go ahead and roll a diplomacy check. I assume that sounds pretty definitive. Like that's the final speech. I think so. And Doom sleepy. sleepy. Just like a See what? Plus... gonna give you the thumb, a thumbs up. Like yeah, this is gonna go plus, great. Plus six from us because me last no and uh have no less. less, no, less, less, less. Oh, that was the last one. Yeah. So you so get a plus four. four. Would this I person... also be able to aid on this one? Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, what do you want to say? Um, Because I just realized that if she was a slave of the Ketapish, like me, I could help. She, You get the feeling she was a slave of the Chalaxians, but you might be able to help. Oh, Kala- yeah. oh I heard it. I heard you guys wrong then. Tell- but, you know, I mean, a, I thought you were talking you were about both still the, slaves. Um, <laughs> you were both still slaves. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I thought you were talking about the the language Kellish. Is I thought that's what I was hearing. No, no Chellish. Like, oh. Yeah, see, that's <laughs> very, where I got it wrong. very similar though. I was like, holy <laughs> shit! That's like my whole backstory is her trauma. <laughs> uh, um, you can still help, yeah, if you have someone in mind. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll still do it though. Um, I'll I'll walk closer to her and like say not in a whisper but kind of low and it's like i i understand your pain i am i am a night stall's escapee from the worst of the slaving of kalapesh and yet as an outsider to to these humans you speak of i still wish to save them and i hope that you would too okay yeah go ahead and roll a diplomacy check uh, uh, uh. oh oh Maybe he's good. So, you get a plus six on this one, Tom. And a reroll. Roll twice and take the highest. Yes. All right, come on. Number one. Number one. 37. That's good. That's good. Second one. It's five. 37. 37. 37. We go with the 37. (laughs) We take those. Okay. Um, She is going to look to each of the other people in this ring. And then she's going to say, I will not let my personal spite harm my people. If this is what the circle agrees to, I will assent. We go to war with the realm of the Fell Knight Queen in two days' time. Send forth, and Malgora will raise her hand, like silence her. This is my court still, Ego. Send forth your emissaries back to your lands. Gather your army. We will move in two days' time from this glade to head towards the Fane Guard. The true 
stone circle and repair the ward stones and make war. And she will slam down a walking staff twice uh, into the earth. Uh, and you watch as uh, the mushrooms uh, that were making up this circle all stand up and start walking away as they turn into <laughs> little mushroom people. <laughs> We'd be slack, John. <laughs> uh, yeah. And she'll turn to you folks and say, uh, Don Sprinter and his tribe are already all here. Um, would you be willing, Don Sprinter, to give some time for these people to rest, to recover? And Aureus will nod and say, uh, I will guard these people with my life. Oh, and I forgot I was Irish again. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> yes, you do that a lot, don't you? <laughs> oh, it's very difficult to remember uh, my accent. Uh, well, uh, you folks should be able to get some rest then. Uh, I hope you can ready yourselves for, uh, well, the next few days are going to be difficult. Wouldn't be the first time we've, uh, fought in a war. Uh, yeah. Most important. These three are gonna leave. Uh, this fellow's gonna move off. Columbia's gonna move off. The bear's gonna move off. Uh, but, uh, Fira has nobody to gather. She just remains. Sad. I'm gonna walk over to him and say, Hey, pet, pet, pet. Great job. I kind of look at everybody. Hey, great talking, everybody. That was some. I was impressed. Heavy? Wow. What? You, I, I didn't think you had it in you. Uh, you talk real good. No, that, I've. I. I may have spent most of the time hearing other people talk, trying to put those words together. Well, you did a pretty convincing job, and Tom will pat him on the shoulder and give him a smile. And Thank last, you. no. Wow. That was great. <laughs> you know. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry we kind of left you again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know. Great. It, it helped here. <laughs> uh, what <laughs> the, the like, fuck, man? You know, <laughs> just <laughs> like. <laughs> so the. Just not bringing up the years of slavery that you said were good for this one um, moment, Sleepy, but uh, mostly fear gave me the, the, the courage to speak up, as I normally don't. And I'll look over at Fira and twirl the flower that I'm still holding in my hand. I'll kind of pat you on the back like a go talk to her. Mm. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good talk. <laughs> Maybe in a moment. Let, let let me relish. Let's relish in in, in this this victory so far. Well, I'm not... uh, hey, hey, it's not a victory yet. We're nowhere in near a, done. In a step in the right direction. Yes. Yeah. Well, we we still got. <sighs> Well, I, I would still call it a victory because now it's not just us fighting. We've won Everything. allies. Now we need to win the fight. Well put. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I feel that the 
that the coming the coming war will be grim, that there might be great loss, but at the very least, the five of us will still be together. And Meh. I I I I never thought I'd see the day where uh, five mercenaries talk down fey courts into action. Uh, could you imagine the story? Well, uh, it gets all right in there. <laughs> I suppose that's true, but I Thanks actually it. have something. I have something a little something that I wish to record first. Uh, and Tone will bring up uh, his sketches of Palmer and begin to add on the other the other members of the court that he was just talking to. Okay. You know, maybe this could make a good comedy show. Uh, how? I'm, think, I'm, I'm working on it. I need more, more slapstick. Sleepy. <laughs> Too soon. You know what? War, I, you know, you war know what isn't funny, bud. <laughs> you know what? This war council was really missing some uh, some, some uh, prop comedy. Some, yeah, some prop comedy. I mean, like, did you guys see those little mushroom guys stand up and walk away? Crazy! I was blown away. There's something there. I just, I mean, since we've been here, I just kind of assumed that every tree and every leaf and every rock could talk. That might be racist. Eh. I'll come back to you on that. I'll have to mull that one off. <laughs> that I mean, <laughs> do I have to roll for racism? <laughs> yes, roll a d20. Roll for racism. Not very. Not very racist. It's, what I mean, like, the, the first thing that happened when we walked in here was a giant drunk tree tried to kill us. Yeah, we, a, we a giant drunk Scottish water. tree, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. That's an important distinction. You are saying something last now? Oh, and we fought moving water as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> so. nice and we fought the embodiment of a dead god's wit. <sighs> also, tr- man, this has been a wild trip. We just fought everything, so I'm Ain't just kind the of Hey, wild fun. <laughs> no. My daddy always I told sh- me not to go in the Feywild. Uh, you know, he, he didn't. Ne- I just thought it'd be funny to say that. I've never been this close to death than in the Feywild. This place fucking sucks. <laughs> I mean, you, it's mighty you, pretty. You've definitely been this close to death outside the Feywild. No. Remember that brain sucking slug thing that I had to uh, pull you away from? Oh, yeah, that almost well, got you. True, but I wasn't like dying. I was just helpless. And about to Helpless? Brain, in my know. experience, helpless is a pretty quick road to dying. Yeah. Yeah, that's not enough. <laughs> I do make that happen a lot. That's what saying. Uh... So, you guys are uh, getting to sleep? Uh, yep. Unless yes. anybody has anything. Uh, um, um, I mean, I'd like to get my level or my energy drain removed, but, you know, that's fine. Yeah, the only thing I would do extra was actually go talk to Firo now, since I now yeah. know what I would say. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, you head over to Firo. Shoot um, you finger guns as you walk off in like a go get them chief kind of way. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> I would definitely not do that, but if you're doing that to me, I will twitch my whiskers anxiously. Um, so yeah, I'll walk up to Fira and I will we'll remember the best courtly bow I can remember from my past. And um, I will say, I, I deeply apologize for bringing up the pain of your suffering to the council as as proof of our uh, of our will to to fight this evil i hope you can forgive me i I certainly uh can forgive you uh i'm okay with people knowing that you have my favor um more than okay Oh no! 
my, my whiskers will twitch anxiously again and uh, 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 I'll stumble as I am stumbling uh, uh, that's uh, amazing to hear I did not I honestly did not think that you would have uh, forgiven me in the, the favor I, I, I look upon it a lot greatly um, each day it is a lovely reminder of yourself my favorite one you are wonderful with words <laughs> I was wondering if I could use your mouth for something else though <laughs> oh gosh what <laughs> <laughs> okay that is that is my actual answer <laughs> Fade to black. Uh, she's gonna say, uh, "Oh, sorry. Um, I want to have sex with you." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fade this to black because I yeah. am not comfortable with that. Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, I will, absolutely I will, fade that to black. Yeah. I will agree <laughs> wholeheartedly. There is, there is agreement. The role play. There we go. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and okay. uh, you guys head off uh, let's see uh, you wanted to look into getting some uh, restoration cast on you Evan? please um, could I ask you how you plan on doing that uh, Is just there? like asking sort of to the quote unquote room like uh, is anybody here able to uh, use uh, restoration to fix uh, energy drain anyone uh, uh, I have I don't think I have I have less restoration, but I think we already said that didn't yeah, work. No. Right? Do you not get the next level of spells at eight for casters, or is it nine? Nine. I yeah, uh, I have less level. Uh, Aureus. I was gonna say, uh, I am not capable of casting such magic, but I'm aware that Devere is. I could perhaps gather him. Do you need anything else? It's not too urgent. Um, there's no need to drag him away from whatever he's doing. I think. I, I am sure he's. I'm sure he's just getting rest. He could get rest here. Uh, is there anything else you need, though? No, I think that's the only thing I really. I, I will say, I believe Devere couldn't cast it because he didn't have a thousand gold pieces of diamond dust. Yeah, um, and actually, I'll, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll say, I, I, we talked about it with Deva before, and, uh, he doesn't have the material component for it. Oh, and perhaps don't. someone else, someone else in the forest might. Yes, but if you don't know anyone else who would, it's not too urgent, so the, I think I'll leave the it. The courts, the courts of the Fae would. They have many gemstones. Well, I will have to ask about that later. For now, I think I, I think I'm good. They will be back. Yes. You will have you what you need. Ah. Uh, okay. Is that all? You guys gonna get some sleep? Yep. Okay. Please, no bad dreams. I only want good dreams. Fortune. <laughs> uh, Heavy, did you take the uh, non-detection one or the other one? Non-detection. Okay. You can have a plus five on this. I oh. need will saves from everyone. Boy. Um. They. Yeah. Uh, Oh. That's not oh, bad. Oh, that's good for me. Everyone's doing pretty good so far. Nice. 
Well, here comes the boy with the mini bonus. Oh. Does that include the plus five? Oh. oh, natural six, yeah. Natural six, energy drain, and my normal bonus is plus three. It's only, oh yeah, because it's only plus two for the off saves. Wow. Well, if it's emotion or mind affecting, it's a 13. That's gonna, that's gonna do it. It is uh, a thirteen. Is it, it won't. It won't matter though. Is it? Ah. Is it a fear effect? Uh, no, it is not a fear. Okay, effect. that would and matter I, for me. I assume there's nothing we can do. Uh, so I assume I'm actually, the only it fail. definitely is a fear. It is a fear effect. Oh, Sorry, uh, fear effect. let me make sure it's a minus four. Oh no, it's just. It's not a penalty. It's just if I get affected, it's worse. I oh. thought it was a minus to the save. Well, uh, heavy. Yep. Uh, you are going to have a nightmare. Okay, cool. Well, that's just another night for me. Uh, but it is the spell nightmare. Yep, that's what I expected. This is fun. Oh boy. That up. Let's cover what you see in your nightmare first. Before I tell you what it does. Uh uh. You are standing uh in uh the conclave. Now uh, this area that you argued with the uh, leaders of this forest in. Uh, you don't remember falling asleep. You see all your companions uh, have uh, started resting. Uh, and you watch as swarming into uh, this uh, conclave is uh, hundreds of small dark shapes, uh, and each of them grows large as they start to crush the skulls and stomp on your, uh, companions as Spriggans appear out of the woods. I'm... I'm gonna charge, like, charge in, try and, like, wake the people who are still alive up, you know, just start... You try to move, you cannot. Uh, you just watch as your friends are slaughtered. Uh, you watch as a figure appears in your dream. Uh, I have a great handout for this figure, actually. It's kind of the perfect one. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm gonna have to uncensor this. Oh no! Womp. Uh, you see a woman with brambles for hair. Uh, pale ivory skin and a bramble staff. Pouring out behind her are thick tendrils of bl brambles that wrap around you and dig into your skin. She slams her staff on the ground and she says Now you you have been a thorn in my side for too long for me to not start paying attention. Uh, and she will stab you in the leg with this staff. The brambles dig into your flesh. Uh, and you have no control over it, but you start to scream in pain. Yeah, I was about to say I scream, so... <laughs> uh, she is going to pull the blade out. Uh, no, the brambles out. Uh, and then whip them across your face. 
and say, You, you people, think you can stop me? Me? Do you know who I am? I have served gods directly. Have you ever met a god? I don't think you have. Abandon your folly, or when next we meet, I'll do much worse than haunt your dreams. Uh, and she's going to slowly fade away as she continues laughing. He has met a god, like two, so get fucked. Uh, when you wake up the next morning, uh, you get no benefits of your rest. You, oh. Depends. Does burn require rest? Or does it say you get it? You lose it after 24 hours. Um, <laughs> pull up the actual fucking thing. Uh, burn, burn, burn. Um, uh, and you take nine points of untyped damage. All right, hang on just a second. No uh, problem. Burn. Uh, yep. Any means other than get. Okay. Uh, you are fatigued, and you are unable to regain arcane spells for the next 24 hours. Like, I care about that. <laughs> That's gonna be tough for Abby. Um... Oof. Hey, Abby, you don't... Uh, and, uh, the rest of you are woken up in the morning by Heavy's screams. Uh, go over to him and just kind of like shake him awake. Like, hey, heavy, <laughs> slap him a little bit. Oh, what? Oh, God, it was, it was what the, just a dream. What the fuck? Are you alright? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm really not. You look a little beat up. Like blood Do you have any signs of like eyes? Magical tampering outside of just, or does he just look like he's just uh, in, uh, having trouble sleeping? Uh, he he looks to have. Uh, well, if you detect magic on him, mm-hmm. yeah, I should there is a fading. There is a fading aura. Uh, it fades like super fast though. So, uh, two time as you're woken up, uh, you're going to notice that your hat is gone. Son of a bitch! No, oh, the iconic hat. Uh, just like. Uh, gone? Like, no trace of it? Yeah. Uh, do I see any footsteps? I mean, they're probably asleep, probably Uh, near the circle. Roll roll a survival check. Oh, I wouldn't have... No, I do have a plus four. That's my trait bonus. Uh, 20. 20? Uh, you are going to notice no footsteps discernible as like uh from the rest of the footsteps that are yeah here. that's what i was gonna say is no new ones bunch of footsteps uh okay well uh i guess i'll talk to suspect number one uh, uh sleepy you take my hat Uh, Sleepy, yeah. you are going to hear a voice in your head uh-huh. as Mask says, put it back on his head without him noticing. 
Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Do I have to roll perception? <laughs> yeah, roll perception. 38. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can fucking beat that. But we're going to try. No, I can't beat that. <laughs> but we're going to try. You know, two time. If you would simply look in that direction, <laughs> you would see your hat is in your hands. <laughs> it's it's impressive. Whoa! It's impressive how fast uh, he gets it up there. Two time, but you. I notice it's. There. Uh, you know, it's crazy how these things happen. <laughs> yeah, it sure is, bud. I'm gonna pull Sleepy in for a hug, and I'm gonna whisper in his ear. Don't touch my fucking hat ever again. Yeah. I don't care that you took the knife. I don't care about anything else. Don't touch my hat again. <laughs> Everyone else, you see Sleepy was slightly reaching for the hat again. <laughs> Stops <laughs> cold. And just like, goes to a pet on the back. You know what? That's so. What if I'm picking it up for you? And it's already fallen and not via me. I don't... <laughs> I think you know what I what I mean when I say take my hat. But what if I plan on giving it back? I don't think you plan on giving it back, bud. Yeah. Uh, you hear a voice in your head, Sammy, that says, <laughs> oh. uh, don't be so sure. Is it Mask? It does sound like Mask. Oh, sh he can talk to... I mean, I, I have touched him, but I don't... Correct. Yeah, dude. Uh... <laughs> Keep your God of Thief bullshit away from me. I don't... I don't need hey, his help. I'm trying to diversify, alright? I'm healing a lot of people. You know diversify what? on someone else. <laughs> Hey, last no, come over here. I got something. To I need. I need. I need to show you something. Right, you. <laughs> did I hear that whole exchange? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I whispered the were... part. I whispered the part about me threatening him. <laughs> yeah. You, you, and you and Fira were drawn back to the group by loud screams from Heavy. Okay. So I, I'll look down at you, Sleepy. It's like I'm already up ahead of you in points. Maybe you must try harder than that. Yeah, I know you're fucking good at seeing things, but you know, I'll hear it. I, I turned my fez around. It looks the exact same way. But I turn it around. And I don't do anything yet. The funny part okay. is, I'm better than him at seeing. I know. I chose the wrong people to fucking do this game. You chose the wrong people to mess with, buddy boy. Me and yes. Last Snow. Last Snow, you also have like a 20 to perception or something crazy. I, I definitely have a 22 perception, yeah. Oh, wait, you have 22 now? Yeah, I. My, oh, shit, I, you're better than me. I have 21. If you have 21, then you're better than me by one. Oh, you have oh, 20. It's 22. Yeah. 20. Oh, 20. Oh, no, sorry. Wow. 20. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I have an literally, the, <laughs> literally the two worst people. Hey, Tone. <laughs> Owen is a perception of zero. Heavy is a 13. <laughs> Holy shit, we're a perceptive group. I know. It sucks. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I have, with the exception of one, I have, like, how's, how's... no skill ranks to allocate, so... You put it on perception? Uh... Yeah. Well, nobody else would be good practice. The beat other, other people start to show up. The other, uh, Faye. Uh, and, uh, clearly they are, uh, alerted to what happened to you, uh, Heavy, by, uh, uh, Dawn Strider uh, and they are going to offer you guys uh, charms of non-detection I've already sure. got something that's supposed to give me that sort of ability clearly it didn't work well enough but they'll say uh, well 
she must have been able to see you guys. Uh, at least a few of you in order to target you all. So let's hand these out anyways. Uh, Malagora is going to say, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're going to need you to act sort of like a spear, you know, dive into the enemy uh, head on head. As opposed to say like a bat. (laughs) <laughs> no, I, I was gonna. I was gonna say a hammer. I don't know what. Oh, a that's bat much comes better. From. That's much better. <laughs> you know, like a mallet. Uh, anyways, uh, we were hoping you would head in first and head directly for the palace, and meanwhile we'll fight the armies that uh, maintain a space around it, and uh, during that time. Uh, we're hoping you could uh, fix the uh, fame guard, uh, not the one that your townsfolk keep, that they think wards the them from the uh, fae, but the true fame guard, the prison, the one that burns the fell knight when they touch it. Uh, y'all, you all gathered some. Uh, Ward stones, I believe, uh, from the depths. Mm-hmm. How many do you have? That's, That's a good point, point, actually. How many do we have? Five, right? I thought we got. I thought there were a lot more than five down there. Yes, there were. But we only were able to collect five because yeah, we didn't. Have... We didn't get all of them because yeah. like... I, I, that's the session I left halfway through. I think Heavy has them. Uh, uh, has what, sorry? The ward stones, ward like the rocks at the yes. bottom of the water. Yes. How many do you have? Uh, I remember I took five. Um, I okay. will need to offload those. because I can take them. Overload. I can take them. Yeah. Uh, if you have five... Um, hmm... That should be enough. Would it be better if we got more? Do we think they moved what they have? Well, you should be able to pull off some from the rest of the wall. It was always built with, you know, their ability in mind. Uh, yeah, that'll be enough for sure. I'm yes, I'm sure. Uh, as long as you create a full circle with the rocks touching. The Fell Knight will not be able to break that. People, obviously, this Tenzakil, are still able to break them. So, you know, don't break them once you've set them up. So you'll need to gather these um, stones, set them up, the Fane Guard, and then continue on. Um, and there is a uh, staff that... Uh, the uh, Roswin has. You can gather that staff. You should be able to seal the uh, uh, the Fell Knight once again. Obviously, if you kill her, it's not as necessary to seal the Fell Knight because, you know, it, yeah, yeah. Do- if we were to kill her, she'd stay dead? Oh, yeah, she's just a... Uh, I don't know how it works here. We're immortal, but... Um, you don't die from getting old, you die from getting killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much how it works. I mean, not all of us, obviously. There's some weird creatures that sort of reform out of the uh, primordial energies of the fit first world. The eldest among them. But she's if you want to kill an eldest, this. you gotta be a little bit more specific how you do it. The Tain are pretty hard to kill as well. What are the Tain? 
Uh, the Jabberwock, the Jub Jub Bird. Uh, the... <laughs> oh, who the fuck? You're not aware. Uh, anyone who wants to can roll a knowledge nature check. <laughs> no. I totally definitely want to know about this. As would I. Every dumb. Tell me what you guys get. Uh, uh, 18. 31. Uh, the Bandersnatch, the Bone Father, the Great Ulus, the Jabberwock, the Jub Jub Bird, Hachan K, the Glory in the Blood, Kieran, the Legion. Leviathan, Mohaba, Moonworm, Sard, or uh, Thrasphere. Uh, these are the Tane. They're uh, living weapons created by the Eldest to fight the gods of the material world. There are huh. many that are able to crush entire cities underfoot, uh, but are mostly found in myths and legends now. However, they are all too real. If their masters are provoked sufficiently, I believe Nerissa has a Jabberwock under her control, but you do not face Nerissa. Thankfully. We face her uh, consort. To me, Thrasphere is the most dangerous. The Dreaming Hill in the Dark. What does this guy look like? A dreaming hill in the dark? He is a... Uh, he is a... bear uh, that is covered in red scales, breathes fire, has six arms, and has a tail that is a red dragon. So not a great beast formed of mouth and sludge. No. Or any of them like that. No. I don't Why? believe so. I think you're safe. I think you're safe on that one. I think I will be a okay. <laughs> the Bandersnatch and the Jabberwock are the most terrifying beyond Thrasphere. But the uh, Jub Jub birds are basically just big. That's why they're scary. I'm surprised you've never heard of these. They're quite well liked among children's storytellers. Yeah, so the, the part about them being ancient weapons of gods uh, is usually redacted. No, I'm pretty sure that's kept. Perhaps I wasn't paying attention enough to the stories. Uh, but you you would recognize them with your 31, so you actually probably were. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was. I was. <laughs> Toe was just saying that to make everyone else feel better. Thank you, Toe. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Wow. So if we are if we are to be if we are to be the spearhead. Then, uh, what can we expect on our journey on our journey to the to the castle? Well, um, we're not sure, but we can get you a map. And, this is good. Uh, she'll whistle and uh, uh, you are brought a map. It should appear right here, uh, and uh, she'll point to a place on the map. And that place is up here. I take it we gotta get to the crazy red castle looking thing? The Yeah, the weird red dot. Okay. That is correct. So that's... Uh, that's a few miles away. Probably a couple days. Uh, yeah. Probably two days. So two days to form, two days to uh, get over there? Well, we're going a day. We're going today, right? Uh, they'll say, uh... 
You could go today, but I mean, you'll be heading faster than us either way. It'll take us like four to five days to reach there. Cause, yeah, you got you a know. whole band. Exactly. So, we go in first. So, do we do we wait for you to like cause the, the war outside and then head in? Or are we just... We sneak in before them. The war is in there. I mean, that's... There's no... They haven't sent any, like, large force through into, uh, the Fey world. We worry about the castle proper with that Queen Roswin in it. They worry about all the big forces. Yes. Hopefully, uh, if we arrive early, we can wait for the major confrontation as a, as a veil to head in while they're distracted. Yeah. We sneak in and cut this thing off before they even got a fight. Precisely. There'll be I a mean, fight. Ideally. Either way. Don't I mean, worry I'll, about that. Oh, uh, I mean, we're... <sighs> we're... We're not... We're not gonna escape nothing. Because... When you go into a place like that... Filled with warriors, doesn't matter if their queen's dead. There's gonna be a fight. Well... <sighs> Good. You all ready for him to die yeah. again? Oops, oh, we don't die. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can take another day if we have to. No. Is there any preparation that is needed? Uh, you didn't. You still have all your burn. Yeah. That that is right. For for uh, heavy heavy is definitely the the big priority here. I mean, it's going to take us a day, so we just have yeah. to get through co- any combats today, and then. He's probably gonna get nightmared again, though. Well, yeah, Do but you if guys... I don't roll like ass, D- does yeah, but that's asking a lot, isn't Did it? Did we get the uh, the diamond dust? Was that delivered? In uh, the Wait, did you just say the dying dust? No, the diamond. Diamond, dust. diamond uh, dust. Yes, the diamond dust. You can buy some diamond dust if you want. All right, it's yeah. one thousand gold pieces worth. For each oh, negative watch. level, correct. Oh, uh, was that? Sorry, can you repeat that? Am I correct in remembering that it's one thousand gold pieces worth per negative level? Uh, yes, it's one thousand gold pieces worth per negative level, and you can only do one per week. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll get one negative level removed for a hundred platinum. Better than having two. <laughs> Yep. Plus, it gives me more hit points. Which means more burn. Oh, true. Uh, Gabe, I have a question. Yeah. You, I have. There's, I, there's a hex that got a new part of it. Um, swine. So it gives them a pig head, <laughs> but it also now turns the creature's hands into hooves. That means that, like, say, Crane Roswin, for example, would drop said her said staff. Yes, that is true. And also, uh, with the pig head, does that stop spells by chance with the lips? Uh, no. Fair enough. The, oh, that's good. Yeah, it says purely. It says mostly cosmetic. Wait, you can do this to a pig. <laughs> what we gotta find up, out. Pig. We gotta find out. <laughs> I don't care what you have to do. Bring me a pig. Okay. Well, do we think Heavy could get through one combat without dying? Yeah, absolutely. Because here's the other thing, right? Having all this burn means that if I get low, I'll just be knocked out. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. And I now have my kneeling stuff. Right. That, that is what makes Actually, Kinetic Knight good as a frontliner, is that you don't die. You just get knocked mm-hmm. out, and then they have to full round and provoke to actually kill you. Yeah. Well, you know, with us all having provokes 
Exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, I provoke now. You hey, provoke I, now. I threaten now. I threaten now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you threaten them so good, Sam. I can it's literally pistol whip a bitch. You threaten so good. It's crazy. It's yeah, like that one the time name. where I stole your hat. Good you remember that one time when you threatened to murder me? The main, oh. the main thing that they tell you is that uh, there is a break in a stone wall. You gotta find that, and they think it is somewhere in this area. They've described that. They've figured that out using uh, divinations. Right. So we want to head in the castle or in this. the on the trip over. Uh, I just pinged right over here. Oh, I see. It's a stone in the wall. That's like a way of getting through. No, there's a there's a break in a stone wall, a wall of stones, low wall of stones. You need oh. to get there, and you need to repair it. Go for it. You can seal yeah. off the thing. Oh, right, so you, have to, you don't you oh, don't need can, to do that. You don't need to do that if your plan is to just kill it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we should do it. Realistically, how much time would that add to our travel? Uh, we do have the liar. No, not long. Yeah, it wouldn't really add any time to our travel. Uh, I mean, we definitely. Maybe I'm speaking uh, for more than myself here, uh, but we're definitely just gonna kill her. I we should wrap up. I'm not so sure we long. can. That is my concern. I, I, I truly wonder what com- what compels her to to seek war with humans. But I, I do not know if we can let such evils go unpunished. If we can tolerate it. I mean, well, you know, being sealed forever and being dead. If she's not sealed I mean, forever, how- somebody could break that. That's probably what happened. Tens of kills, stupid ass, probably came and that broke it and likely. set her free. All it would take is another disgruntled person to come and set her free again and start this all over again. I mean, moral or not, the only way to protect the people of Bellis is to kill her. Yeah, uh, we could. I mean, for now, I see. I, for now, I do not see any reason not to not to ensure she can ever rise again. Uh, oh, um, I, I'm yeah, with, with Tucson on this time. Yeah, I mean, we should definitely uh, still seal it, you know, just in case, you know, something goes yeah. wrong and that's and our best option. Uh, yeah, cover the bases. But I, Sleepy, you got that one bullet spell? Yeah, I can I can get you three bullets. It makes me a little bit more scared for myself. But, you know, if we kill her, she's dead. Well put. So here's <laughs> her, she's dead. <laughs> you know what they say. You gotta live to be He's, alive. You gotta live to be alive. <laughs> things, things uh, need other things to live. Are, are killed when they are. Here's, no, here's what I would here. love. People if die could, when they are killed. Oh, that was that was the thing I was trying to remember. It's so true. If I just give you three bullets with her hypothetical name on it. That's probably just going to murder her. Yeah. However, I'm worried about SR. <laughs> and That's so fair. I'm thinking, like, if I give you two bullets and I give myself one debilitating portent to potentially have her damage for a while. I will worry about that when we get there. So many things could change the circumstances. Also, I probably only really need one bullet to, like, to swing the fight, right? Like 70 damage in a single round. Yeah. Wait, does so, the named bullet overcome SR or not SR, DR? Oh no, it um, targets one piece of ammunition. So I give you a cold iron. I was worried about yeah, cold iron resistance. A cold iron bullet. So you guys have a plan for how to you guys have a plan for how to kill her, but you haven't really gotten there yet uh well, what you know, would you pl- plants come before action <laughs> yeah would you guys to, like to take an extra day to sleep or would you like to head on ahead we're heading on I ahead think, okay we're heading on ahead and uh, 
the heavy can rest again and hopefully Col- Columbia will grant you uh, a, his ability to teleport to like bring you to uh, the gate into the uh, Felmite realm oh. uh, so I'll say like uh, I'll guide you folks if you're willing yeah. uh, I know Absolutely. the location of the entrance hop on my back I would love to and then a couple other unicorns come up uh, and then you guys are going to teleport uh, across uh, the Fey Realms uh, the First World uh, and uh, appear uh, in a uh, glade with a circle of stones uh, he's going to say enter uh, and uh, then spell Fell Knight backwards. Oh no, Heavy can't do that. Wait, so that brings us over here? T H G I N. Oh, that would bring us here. No, this is a map of Fell Knight. You guys are in the fate, the first world still. This is going to bring you to the demi plane. So this is where we technically weren't here yet when Gabe showed yeah. this to us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's great. that's where you're gonna enter. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. And then and then we travel to that point, seal it forever, then get to the and then get to Roswin and. Mm-hmm. Roger. Thank you for clearing that up. Yeah. Let's spell Felmite. E H G I N L L E F. You just watch as Sleepy disappears. Oh God! <laughs> as I disappear, I like <laughs> I do a fake scream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll I'll write it down for Heavy. Heavy can't read. Uh, heavy can't read anything. <laughs> I mean, I feel like with the unlearned drawback. Me. Okay. Yeah, re- yeah, I was going to say repeat after yeah. me. T T H H G G I I N N L L L L E F E F And you watch as heavy disappears. Do I disappear with him as well? Yes. I thought he was going to cut off before the F. <laughs> then he'd just be stuck on E. I'd be like, no! Honestly, I was debating rolling a dummy intelligence check to see if he said N or M. <laughs> uh, now it's just last snow and tone remaining. T H G I N L L E F. Okay. You watch as last snow disappears. Tone, now it's just you and the unicorns. Uh, Tone will re- uh, will look up to Palm Bear and say, uh, I must thank you again for everything you've done for our journey. Uh, it has truly been uh, a, a wonder to behold your uh, behold your sight, and we will do your we will do your people good. Uh, and it is still- my honor. I am still in your debt. You saved mm-hmm. my life. I have not done the same for you. Um, uh, oh, but you've given me something more, far more valuable in my life than my life. A story. And with that, uh, Tone will turn around and uh, and uh, say it out. Um, and yeah, he'll do it. I do just it. Had, yes. I just <laughs> had it here. Uh, P-H-G-I-N-L-L-E-F. Okay. Uh tone disappears as well uh and you all find yourselves in a similar clearing but the forest is not the same when everyone comes through i'm just gonna guys to be asked how to get back i assume we do the reverse we probably say it forwards here uh you see a twisted corruption corrupted version of the uh, first world uh The limbs of the trees uh, dig back down towards the earth, and you can tell why. 
There is no sun. Uh, uh the craggles of these trees uh, form into massive brambles with thorns as long as your arm sticking out into the pathways through. The forests here are death. Hostile to living creatures. And yet you still see night animals thrive here. Uh, small rodents dance among the trees, uh, moving through the spikes with ease, for the size of these spikes does not matter if they have no chance to be impaled by them. Uh, simply protection for larger pre- from larger predators. Uh, that's where you find yourselves. So there's no sun, but is there a moon? There are two, two moons. moons. Read the handout. Oh, I did. I must have just missed the two moons it's, part. I mean, the, I'd be surprised that you'd be able to get to that part that fast. <laughs> yeah, I just got to it when you, he oh. actually asked. Well, sorry, Alec, Wait. you listen, okay? I'm doing both. <laughs> I'm just slow at reading. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, though it's two moons. I forget that Galarian also has two moons. Yep. It does. I also forget that Galarian has two moons. <laughs> Everyone forgets that Galarian has two moons. Galarian has two moons? Izo forgets that Galarian has two moons. <laughs> That's that's true, actually. I think in Moonscar, they don't reference the fact that they uh, there are two moons. A, a book literally about visiting one of the moons. So well, they call saying. it one of the moons and not the moon, so maybe they do reference it. I don't... Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. So, Gabe, you're saying that this place is great for a conjured carriage, that we can get there pretty, pretty quick, right? <laughs> Oh, it's time to rev up that pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. No. Rev up the Bugatti. <laughs> rev up the Ah, <laughs> <Right>. Damn. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Making fun of Brit Bongers. Uh, it's my favorite yeah. pastime. <sighs> what would you guys like to do? Uh, traveling through this is... Uh, you can travel two miles per hour in the woods. And then out of the woods, you can travel three miles per hour. Okay, so <laughs> uh, take the shortest pass through the woods to this clearing, and then cross probably right here. Would it be oh. best to take a more stealthy route because uh, uh, just because we're we don't necessarily care about getting there? We already have a leg up on our on our uh, on the we'll, main war. We'll path. always get there before. Yeah. Yeah. Then we don't want to attract greater attention to ourselves. So, are, what do you mean? Like, what path are you thinking? Like, a, just a. Uh, just I'm just the, the way woods. these woods. The way these woods were described is very bad. Uh. Yeah, Gabe. Okay, what the hell? No. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke. <laughs> these woods were described to be very bad. Yes. Uh, so I feel like we should minimize the amount of time we spend in them. That's fair. I mean, well, that's that's just like the the choice we got to make is do we want to well, you spend could, a little bit more time in the... You could skirt the woods and perhaps get some of their cover, but not actually be in them. Yeah, best of both worlds. Easy. That sounds good. <coughs> okay. Uh, so you guys are going to set out... Uh, go ahead and move your token two squares, and then move your token another two squares. Uh... Oh, I don't have them. Okay. That worked? Uh, so after the first two, I need a D100 oh, roll. hang on. I think that wouldn't work because of the way the diagonals work. Because that would technically be three. So it would have to be like, doink, doink. Yeah. Uh, who's our D100 roller? I will. Oh, I'm moving boy. the token, so I'll roll the. Okay. I'll. 
All the broke. I forget if that's good or bad. I love Jesus. I want middle numbers. Give me forties. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need another P100. That's not good, dude. That's not good. But what if it's just like? It's okay, okay. That's well, decent. That's decent. Fifty-one spriggans attack us. Uh, well, what if it's like it's forward and backwards, so fifteen and fifty-one? Oh, <laughs> it's like the you communicating with us. They rhyme. You come across an opening in the woods. Uh, it has been recently cut away, uh, and you see within uh, is a market. Uh, uh, a small collection of tents uh, with wares set out in front of them. Uh, and uh, you see strange cre- creatures hawking their wares. You see a wicked looking minotaur uh, standing with a display of uh, blades uh and armor sets and hammers and pickaxes and wicked looking weapons uh and uh beside him sort of like holding on to his uh pants leg is a uh young girl uh in a uh nightgown with a dog head instead of her uh like a normal girl's head uh and uh, along the way, you also see uh, some satyrs uh, selling uh, drinks. Uh, and uh, some old crones cackling over a pot. Uh, smoking uh, with uh, green gas. Uh, just a marketplace. That's spooky. What's that? That's that's very close, buddy. Uh, uh, you're right. Those Sorry. those of you who want to can roll a knowledge history. Yeah, I, if I could, if I could roll to to would this could this check be also be as that you know if they would attack us on site? Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, the check will answer that. Rumo and I got the same. I mean, yeah. Uh, this uh, is... Uh, you would recognize this from the stories as uh, the uh, Witch Market. It is a small company of fey merchants and scoundrels from the first world who travel uh between worlds, through gaps and portals between the planes, uh, to sell their wares to the unwary and desperate. To sell ca- all kinds of wonderful items, uh, and are oftentimes uh, featured in like young hero stories, uh, like stories of children who lose their parents uh, to some great threat, uh, and. Uh, get a magic sword from the witch market that curses them, but also aids them in the destruction of their enemy. Owen would relay that. It's from, it's from the, it's from many a children's story. They, they sell, uh, they sell wares to weary adventurers, but these items might come with some sort of unforeseen price or curse. <laughs> I said, my my fe- my friend here is no doubt familiar with. It's a uh, oh yeah, it's a crossroads story. Like it's a story of like oh. a deal with a devil or a deal with a fae. In this case, you lose you something. Really you take the trade. I mean, all are they gonna like? Attack us if we go, or is this like oh, anybody? Oh, in the shop? No, they're not gonna attack you. 
Oh, well, they shit. Well, uh, his customers. They, they <laughs> will attack us in the way that the typical street merchant attacks the typical passerby. Ah, capitalism. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> like very, just very across very... you like you want to buy stuff you want to buy stuff you want to buy stuff right i think i maybe want to buy stuff i'm very wary of my bag of holding since the last time i was that i got stolen from i was very upset still a little salty about it so i got it i got that thing on lock okay yeah. i'm i want to go and check it out at least Yes, let's stick together and make sure we don't get anything unsavory. Or okay. a little unsavory. But in a good, good way. Who unsavory? How about? I can make an exception. <laughs> uh So you guys head in? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like it. Okay. Uh the Minotaur will uh, raise a hand uh, and wave down uh, two time and have Ian ask if they have any interest in purchasing. Uh, he does have guns on I his mean, uh, rack as well. I'll take a look. I don't use regular weapons. You know you can change that. I do, but I would still rather not. Okay, well, fortunately, I mean, I do have armor. Gesture. Uh, is any of it mithril? Yes, certainly. We have some mithril here. Mithril uh, plate, maybe? Yes, yeah, mithril plate. <laughs> Are you interested in some mythical bite? I would be, yes. Uh, what would it cost me, though? Mm. Uh huh. It would cost you half the world. What? I guarantee you, you are able to pay. And I? No, I mean, I, I don't understand what that means. Uh, I believe your friend has nailed it on the head. Oh, I was right? Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dave, you mean, please. You mean, he means your eye. Oh. Your ability to see half the world. I mean, see oh. the world cut in half. It's the depth perception. Think about the depth perception. <laughs> that is actually what Heavy's thinking about. Uh, I think I'll have to pass then. I'll take my chances with uh, material plane merchants. Boo. You could be a cool one eyed guy. Do you have something else to offer? You could choose your own price. Well, uh, I don't know if you take exchanges. I have the magical full plate that I have on me that I'd have to give up for it. But. And what else? Uh. That's about all I'm really willing to part with here. In that case, we will not have a deal. I'm not surprised. How about you, little one? Uh, I mean, I kind of made this weapon, so I'm a little attached to it, but more guns can't hurt. Uh, or any You're kind of like... something larger, perhaps? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it was already pretty big for me. Uh, any kind of lighter armors? I'm a, I'm a move fast kind of guy, not a, a move slow kind of guy. Certainly. You want something lightweight, quick? Yeah. What do you have right now? 
Uh, I believe I have a plus one chain shirt. Uh, a plus one chain shirt, yes. I believe I can help with that. Uh, are you interested in a chain shirt that will allow you to turn into the wind? <gasps> Is it the Windstrider mail? Is what he is suggesting. Oh, okay. What do I have to pay? I, I had a swashbuckler that had the same. Your thing. fucking legs. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would cost you your chain shirt. Okay. Ah, uh, as well as he looks at you for a moment. Then he leans down to the uh, girl, and she'll lean forward and whisper in his ear, look back to you, and he's gonna say, uh, It will cost you a piece of your wit. Cost me wisdom? Piece of your wit. One day in the future, you will do something stupid. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. And one day in the future, I will do something smart. Basically, in the future, I will be able to say, you fail a will save. Oh. No, no, oh. no. <laughs> oh, that's a... Do not give Gabe the will save failure card. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. Uh, he will reach out a hand. I will oh. uh, clasp his hand. Shake. And shake it. Uh, and he will pass you down the Windstrider mail. Yes! And one small little piece of Argog is back with me. Take your plus one chain shirt. Oh, this is a plus one mithril chain shirt, which means my dex bonus isn't bad anymore. I'm not losing dex bonus. Uh, Windstrider mail. Oh, okay, so... Just at any point in the future, you can say, no, you actually fail that will save. Yep. That's awesome. Uh, as these two were sort of brought aside, uh, you, you, the rest of you, uh, Sleepy, Tone, mm. and Last Snow, uh, you're called over by uh, the satyrs who are working on uh, what looks like alcohol. And they shout over at you and say, uh, Come, come, join us at our table. We have many drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. I feel like that's a bad idea. Can I? I feel it like is a fantastic I'm... idea. Come oh, on, you can read my mind. Shit! Can we buy fucking mind? I was, I was gonna ask. Is I know. This could just me be my stories blending into this, but this can eat something from like. That's the underworld. Yeah, that's, that's the, the underworld, underworld in Greek mythology. Yeah. Nah, that doesn't. Mean that's not they're usually. Weird. I feel like there are some like pretty common like don't eat like. There's a lot of like fey trickery like. If you ask a fae to give you, if a fae asks you to like give you their name and you say yeah, they like have your. There's a lot of like weird stuff. Yeah, it's like pretty common in Faye stuff, but but eating and drinking, I just this is like a fell night room. I feel like I just like a little thing safe. Come now, it's the one chance you'll ever get. It's Fair fun, enough. it's the cheapest, 
It's the cheapest uh, stuff here. Uh, can uh, I think Toad will sit down out of idle curiosity and say, "Do you serve tea?" I we do indeed. Yes. I would like, would to, like see... to buy some. I think I would be interested in buying some. I see. Might I see your options? Yes, indeed. Uh, and he'll lie at, lay out like a bunch of teas with names that you don't recognize. Uh, and uh, he's going to say, uh, take a whiff. Any of those bags. Uh, uh, Tom would like to do so. I'd say he's got a little bit of an experience with these kind of things. But, but he would also, outside of his, uh, uh, his appreciation of finer teas, he's also uh, very curious as to see if there's any sort of magical aura on these. So I detect magic. No, uh, they all have magical auras on them. Uh, and they all have all of the oh. tools. Uh, I will say, I don't think I've ever I've ever witnessed such such strange remedies. You you said this was a once in a lifetime opportunity. What would I be missing out on if I refused? Uh, you would be missing out on well, an infinite number of things. Uh, each of these has an effect that even we do not understand. Hmm. Truly curious. So. Is the is the effect randomly determined when you made it, or did you not even have it a uh, hand in its creation? Uh, well, you see, there was a one time we were walking through the first world, and a massive man made of metal, well, he had metal covering him, appeared for just a moment. His skin was gray, and he had lines all over it. He was carrying a guitar that was also a sword. And his body was barky. And his hair was leaves. And he said his name was Bratislav. God damn it, I knew it! And before we could really have a conversation, he was ripped away. But what he left behind were these fruits and well we've been making drinks out of them ever since and they do strange things um tone, tone's expression will widen and say now that is quite an interesting story uh i i think i would be interested in purchasing at least one of these you know, I'm also curious now. I'll leave you a step up with Tone. What kind of things have happened thus far? Uh, well, uh, woman lost all her hair. Mm. A man got a title in another land. And we had a uh, Spriggan turn into a werewolf. The other ones weren't very visible. I don't know what they did for them. Probably nothing too bad. <laughs> uh, how about you, Last Snow? Uh, he doesn't say your name. He says, how about you? And then looks at Last Snow. Which one... <clears throat> which one made the lady lose her hair? Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Well, I mean, we're great brewers and our stuff, our drinks are delicious, but uh, the effects are random no matter what you drink. Uh, I just wanted to make sure my fine coat was not at risk at the wrong tea. There's a very low chance of that happening again, <sighs> right? Like maybe like one in a hundred, maybe. Well, more like one in... Ten thousand? Yes. <laughs> How did you know? You know, I just sometimes get lucky. You know what? I know why I'm gonna die. I'm in. But fucking... Don't. I'm with you, alright? How much is this gonna cost? 
Nothing. Tosses two silver pieces. Oh. And drink. Well, golly. Just why don't you just cocktail a bunch of them, Sleepy, and see what they all do? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to know that the legacy of the Tree Sakai has continued. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you it, reacted to. I assume it's a character. Know, we finally know what happened to him. Well, you don't know where he ended up, at, <laughs> in, but you know, you know one of the places he went to. I'm definitely putting down two silver. Okay. I think uh, now that now that one person has done it, I think Toad will will watch from a safe distance. Like, <laughs> <very> curious. <laughs> a fireball <laughs> at tenth level centered upon yourself. <laughs> There's only a one in ten thousand chance of that happening. Yeah, what's, what are the chances? Uh, I will begrudgingly put down two silver and say I will not let you do this alone, Sleepy. Ah, my man. Okay. I need a D ten thousand from both of you. I'm gonna laugh uh, if somebody rolls a one. Was that oh, slash R ten thousand? Slash R one D. Do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? I already rolled. Okay. Damn, That's you got very low. low. I got that. <laughs> Believe me, though, it doesn't matter really Fair where you are. Is it just randomly it. scattered? <laughs> uh, what did you get exactly? It's 400 something? 456. 456? I feel oh, like so lucky. That's going to be lucky. Uh, you watch as uh, the uh, dots that were once on your fur transform into black stripes. So you are no longer spotted. You are striped like a zebra. Uh, it says caster becomes striped like a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, permanent, by the way. That is permanent, yes. Son That's of a not bitch. That's what do you I mean? mean you, you I fucking hate like... striped. God, they make you look, look fat. No, they make you look <laughs> skinny. Yeah, the stripes thin you. Yo, what Which way are, are the stripes way? facing? Are they like vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. It's just um, like you're always wearing a striped shirt. I like I, spots. I, I need a. Uh, yeah. What did you get? 1,550. Okay, some scrolling then. Yeah. Take your time. Oh no. It's fine. I'm gonna be fine. Right, Gabe? I'm not dying here, right? You know how you die. <laughs> True. Okay, uh, nothing happens. Wait. Uh, how's the tea? Oh, fantastic. Incredible. You know? Just there's no way nothing happens. Uh, something you know, happened. You just maybe don't know. Built different. Unfortunately, you got one of the duds, I guess. You want to buy another one? It was really good. Uh, <laughs> I'm not dumb. But, like, how much faith do I have? I have no faith in myself. What am I talking about? You know what? Yeah, you can serve me another. Okay. Go ahead and roll a D10,000. Yeah, it. It's just too damn good. I really want to gamble. I really want to do this. Well, you can see Baby. it. Doing it. Oh. You can see last snow change and me just like slurp. Just look around. Nothing happened. I'm I'm right. I was going to force you to do another one if you didn't do it on your own. <laughs> I'm pissed off. Uh, I need to spend the silver. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Let me. 88. Taking another slurp for 247. That was a great, great sip. Hang on. Uh, wait, no. That's 10,000. Uh, yeah, that's 10,000. Just real low. Okay, so. Uh, again, nothing happens. What? 
I, <laughs> I'll sidle up next to him. Ah, a new, a new contender. You got something stronger than tea? Yeah, we got something stronger than tea. Two silver pieces. Don't pour out a whiskey, <laughs> hand it over. Down it. Ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. <laughs> That's hot. That's real. Jesus. <laughs> That's hot. Speed scrolling. Yeah. Can you not are control you, us? Are you also are you also looking at it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, do you guys have a list somewhere? Or oh like yeah. A table. Oh no. How bad? Oh, oh no. My God. How bad did I just fuck myself? Well, um... Not just yourself, buddy. Not just yourself. Nothing happens. Fireball? Something so much strange worse. happens. Okay. Uh... Your detect magic that you had up, Tone, is gone. Well, that's In bad. fact, you feel... Oh, suddenly, fuck. like, you don't really have, like, connection to magic. magic at all. Sleepy, you also feel this. Heavy, you feel this. Oh. You need I to breathe magic again, field? I believe. You need to breathe again. Oh, okay. I must be looking at a different one from you. Really? Yeah, the one I'm looking at. 9838. The entire area is a massive shrine to an abominable god. Nine eight three eight for me is region becomes magic dead forever. Oh, magic dead for oh. Wait, what? What is region defined as? Region is uh, a three mile area. So oh, three mile so radius. Not. So, okay, we so not. literally just destroyed the whole. Oh, part. they can move. Yeah, they're gonna start moving on. So, uh, you guys watch as the uh, uh, witch market starts to pack up. He's like, uh, well, you know, we had to move out any soon anyways, so... Uh, I'm sorry. No, nah, it's fine. How was that tea? We had it fun. It wasn't tea, hey, it there, was how's whiskey. whiskey. How was the whiskey? It was delicious, I assume? Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, it's if, if I could drink that without the everything going all uh, met... I'll magic dead. Uh, it'd be the best damn whiskey I ever had. Well, you, nothing happened to me. Unfortunately, that's kind of the fun of it for us. So. Uh... Oh well, I mean, it, it was pretty fun gambling. I was like, I saw him turn into stripes, and I was like, all right, maybe I can get stripes. Well, have a good time. Uh, we're sitting out. Stripes. Have See a you good one. <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen to me. La, da, 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 uh, well, can I can I just ask on well, this one is... to ten? How 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 are things gonna look for me whenever these things happen? One being bad, ten being good. And now, five. <laughs> nah, uh, things are gonna happen. Things are gonna happen. Sorry, I mean, I, this is yeah. just like this is just like home. Yeah, I'm just the feeling drinks. Fun. Strange things happen. You move on with your life. I what were what were the things that you saw uh, for Sleepy? There was a uh, voice becomes unintelligible while wielding his weapon. Nope, not really. Not shit. right for me. Uh, <laughs> and all scrolls discharge simultaneously. Oh, that would have been very bad. <laughs> Uh, I don't have any scrolls. Oh, you don't yeah. have any scrolls? Yeah, that's, that, that's why like, that's why I took you saying nothing happened seriously for that one. Okay. Well, uh, you guys can continue on your journey. They start to close up, jump, and leave. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, as, as they're going, uh, you uh, watch uh, an old woman walk past on a uh, uh, a a walking stick. Uh, she has a big nose, crooked, bends down. Uh, 
and has a wart on it, and she'll uh, hold out a coin uh, to your group, not really targeting any of you in specific, and say, uh, just in case you ever want to buy more. Heavy's not taking that thing. I'm taking that bad boy. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, as you grab it, uh, she's gonna grab your wrist and she's gonna pull you in. And she's gonna stare into your eyes. She says, uh, If you're ever interested in joining a coven, which... You know, I've been thinking about that hex lately. Mm, reach out with the coin. And she's gonna release your wrist and then pat you on the cheek. Ah. We've been made a friend. Oh. I'll, I'll blush a little bit, like, ah, oh, you're too kind. How do I just kind of like. Sleepy made a creepy. I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, as witches do. <laughs> as we do, as we do. Uh, so what the fuck do I have? Uh, you have a witch market coin. ITCH market coin. It is a magic item. You can find it on Archives of Nevis if you want. Uh, you guys continue on your journey. Go ahead and move yourselves to... Coin. Steps. Sheesh. I have moved us. D100? And I need... I don't need a D100 this hour. Oh. I'll need one next hour. Well, there's uh, next. We'll keep it for next hour. Uh, so go ahead and move another two. Move. We're out of the magic dead zone, right? You are now out of the magic dead zone. We should put a little... I want to put a little... Uh, it was what? It was here? Hang on. Would have yeah. been... Yeah. Roll an intelligence check real quick. Hmm. Okay. I'm you gonna... would realize that you have to breathe. <laughs> Basically. Um... No, physiologically, you would realize you have to breathe. <laughs> Heavy passes out 27 times before we leave the magic dead zone. <laughs> Forgetting to breathe. <laughs> Heavy has become somebody who's a little slow to somebody who is like comically dumb. <laughs> Look, I can't help that I rolled and got a negative two on the intelligence yeah, check. That's fair. Um, I feel like every time two time like helps hoist them up and is like, come on, buddy, gotta breathe. <laughs> uh, I could just be like on his shoulder, just kind of like li you're, listening and just being like so you're, 20, you're 21 means that you will not encounter anything. Cool. Go ahead and so, move another two. Right. And then we kind of want to skirt along the edge here, right? Actually, aren't we out of the woods now, roughly? Yeah, but I thought we... W mm -hmm. Tone yep. wanted to stealth, like, kind of take a... Yeah, loop around. Okay. A, that that type of path. Uh, and I, I say we do that, but not in the for this next one. Go ahead and move yourself up. Okay, so would this be three miles or two? You can move three, yes. So there okay. we go. And D Hundo. Thirty-eight. Okay, you're good. Oh. So Has it been one hundred? What? How long have we been traveling? It's uh, you've is been it traveling. Every hour? For five hours. Okay. So we are there now. Uh, at D100. I'm going to need a D100, and I'm also going to need a perception check uh, in this. 28. This is session. Nice All right. Uh, Once again, Tone cannot see. So everyone who got. Uh, well, Tone is going to notice a low stone wall. All of you notice that uh, in this square. Uh-huh. And then uh, the rest of you are going to, looking down both sides, uh, down to the bottom in this square, you can see 
a uh, a um, gap broken through. Uh, so down here is where the gap is. Uh, so you notice that in this square, so you'll have within this hour, you'll be able to move down that way if you want to. Okay, yeah. uh, but uh, the 28 will trigger something because you've spent two rounds without triggering anything. Uh, so you are going to have an encounter uh, in this square. Okay. What uh, if we didn't? As you travel along the edge of the forest, uh, I need you to make secondary perception checks that are unrelated to the first. Okay. We all have eyes. Uh, uh. Except Tone and Sleepy, I guess. What is it? That's the Tone of Tone. 31, 12, oh, 35, 9, 33. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, tone and. Uh, no. Tone and Sleepy, you won't be acting in a surprise round. Yeah. Uh, throw yourselves down in this square. Give me a second. Do you square? God damn it! Throw yourselves down in this green ass square. Wherever you want to be. My God! Do you have any was... healing you could have hit me with, Sleepy? Oh. Did you not heal from last night's rest? I was at like a two thirds. Oh, okay. Well, you could have told me that, Dumbo. Probably could have. You freaking dummy head. I mean, I forgot to mention mine as well. Yeah. You freaking dummy heads. Y'all guys are so dumb. I mean, to be fair, I was more preoccupied with the nightmare that Gabe gave me. Way, way, way. I was preoccupied (laughs) with uh, Heavy's nightmare. Uh, alright. Well, I, since I didn't use any spells, I get to what that was that. Was that that night or day? It was that. So that when we were about to rest, did we. Did you need healing then? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then I have. I can use Staff of Healing Charges. Uh. Is that. So that's going to. Is that 16 or 20? That's 16. Uh. Sorry, if you guys didn't ask for healing. Yeah, that's the time, fine. Yeah, you're not no, that's fair. Yeah, and, that's and fair. Yeah, I agree with that ruling personally. Uh, Sleepy, put yourself in a square. I did I not? You're in you are yourself in the edge. center of four squares. Oh, well, that's because I'm the center of attention, baby. I thought you knew this. I, I, I know that's what you want to be. I can't. I can't get sick. Oh, there you go. Now, uh, I'm. I'm gonna be. Uh, there is uh, a. Uh, movement. You guys can hear snapping of twigs and stuff like that. And then pouring out of the trees are three spriggans on the back of large black furred wolves with glowing red eyes. Uh, let's roll some initiative. You know what I just realized? I could have used I could have used resolve when I had to make the will save for the nightmare. I didn't have my guy select. Oh, because I'm on that. I'll change it to the proper initiative. These people be gobbledygooks. Um, yeah. So real. <laughs> okay. I had a 24. Some big doggies. Do we have any matches? Yes, I match with one of the Spurgans. And the Spriggan and the Wolf match. Okay. Well, that's just unfortunate for me. But they're not the same. I have put my tiebreaker in, including the energy drain penalty. They're gonna beat you out a little bit, and the spring will beat the wolf out. 
Okay. Let's go. Uh, it is two times turn. You have a surprise round. I assume that you do not have your gun out. Nope. Probably not. You got uh, as part of your bowling initiative. Uh, I don't believe so because I don't think I've quick draw. Ah. Uh. I mean, I maybe I would have pulled it out during. Uh, I can pull it out as part of a move action, though, right? Or is that what quick draw yeah, is? It's part of a move action, yes. I'll, is a five foot step a move action? No, it is not. Nope. It is not. I'll step. I won't five foot step, but I will step five feet and draw my gun. Okay. That's your turn. Yes. Word. Word? Oh, word. Word. Oh, These, word. This word is going to charge, not following its companion's uh, directions. Uh, so he has to make a reflex save or fall off. <laughs> you be dead. Pass. He stays on. Uh, the ward is going to take a snack out of two time. Oh, because charging is a standard action. Uh, charging can be a standard action if you cannot take a full round. Uh, but you can only move up to your speed. Uh, does a 22 hit? Not with my fancy new armor. Damn. It, 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 I mean, it wouldn't have hit even with my old armor, but... Okay. <laughs> You have fancy new armor. Uh, that is the warg's turn. Cone, you are surprised. Yep. Last snow, you are not surprised. What would you like to do? I can only do one thing, right? You can charge. Uh, I forgot what charge does. Uh, in straight line and hit. You get a plus to hit, but a minus to AC. You get a plus two to your attack and a minus two to AC for the rest of the round. And that's any attack I do if I charge? That is a single weapon attack. You cannot grapple as part of the charge if that's what you're asking. But since I have the grab feature, I can... Ah, yes, you can. You can indeed. <laughs> then I will absolutely but, charge. <laughs> but you can only grapple a creature with that of the same size or smaller, so you can grapple the Fell Knight, Spriggan, but not the Ward. So, yeah. Okay. Go for it. Um, when okay. you charging? Uh, I will charge the leftmost Ward. And I okay. guess <laughs> when I get there. Go ahead and make your attack. With a plus two. Twenty. Uh, uh. Twenty is going to hit because they are flat footed. Nice. I almost did a bad. Uh, that hits. And so go ahead and, yeah, that's eight points of damage. And then plus the extra five. Uh, so they're going to take 13 and then get grappled uh, and take another two. That guy looks really injured. Um, and that is going to be last snow's turn uh sleepy i was reaching into tone's pocket and then everything started happening why well, slowly took my hand out and now look around dumbfounded okay yep that is sleepy's <laughs> turn uh this fell knight fellow is gonna dismount as a move action to this square uh, and then is going to grow. Uh, and I will pull out the large Spriggan token. Spriggan. Oh, I did jokes, a bad. Joke's on you, buddy. I don't provoke anymore. Wait, does growing size provoke by chance? 
Uh, no, it does not. <laughs> All right, just ask me. It's a supernatural ability. Tyler, Tyler, question. <laughs> was being big. <laughs> I didn't add my plus four bonus to grapples with the grab ability. Holy shit! Oh my! Well, God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you still, you still grabbed. <laughs> I well, my my grapple attack is now twenty seven with that bonus. God damn. damn. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, not terrifying <laughs> at all. Okay, well, you got that motherfucker wrapped up then. Uh, this guy grows to his size. Can he do that? Is he swift action or is that a standard action? Give me a second. Standard action, okay. So, he is big now. But that is I, his turn. I thought he could only <laughs> take a move. He, he took a dismount as a move action. Oh, uh, he will dismount as a free action then. Or there's a bunch of <laughs> Ride checks. Yep. Gabe, 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 you little saucy little minx. He, 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 will, he will hop off uh, as a free action. You saucy little minx, you did it. <laughs> uh, this fellow is going to do the same thing as his friend. Drop off. Attempt to drop off as a... Uh, Free action, which he will succeed at, uh, and then he will grow in size. 0.04, give me a second. So they have to bring out... <laughs> they're separate character sheets, so much shit about them changes when they get bigger. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Just don't... Just don't grow bigger. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe that they don't provoke when they change character sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, question. Fucking cackling. Uh, so this guy gets big, and he'll also five foot step a little bit closer. Uh, and it is Heavy's turn. Right. Um. Neither I nor Heavy remembers what their exact DR is. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Um, I think it's cold damage. Or it's, you need a... Uh, yeah, it's, it's cold like damage, magic. I know, but I don't remember yeah. the number. Five, I think? I, doesn't matter. What I'm saying is don't remember the number, so I'm gonna do energy damage instead of physical. Yeah. Um, I'm just checking burn costs. Okay, so I reduce total burn by two points, which means that I can whip or free. Okay. So I'm going to whip the Spriggan that is five feet from me. Uh, I cannot full attack. I can only make the first one. Go for it. So, well, that's an at one, boys. Ooh. Okay. I do threaten, though. Understood. That's useful. Uh, 15 probably still would have hit his touch, but... This this little struggler is grappled, uh, so it is going to grow. Uh, however, that does not break the grapple. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Oh, what's something we'd like to call up? Pro Gamer Move. Who the hell would mean that he has to... Make a reflex saver fall prone because he is no longer carryable by his uh, big wolf. Uh, so builds. Uh, yeah, he'll manage to land on his feet as he's dismounted. Uh, and let's see, that's gonna get a. There we go, and we'll put this up right here, uh, and uh, that will be his turn. Uh, actually, he'll fight and save up, so then he's in But can he do that war. grappled? Oh, good point, good point. He cannot do that grappled. This warg is going to... 
charge the grappler Rude. and make a bite attack. Uh, that'll be a 24 to hit, because he's also flanking. Yes. Uh, that'll be 13 points of bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Deep is uh, oh no. And a 24 to trip. So that's 24 uh, versus your CMD. I do not think I can fail that, but here... Wait, why is it not... Like no, it's your CMD. It's in, oh, my... C- oh, sorry, I thought it was a roll. CMD is flat. Uh, 24. So it meets it. Meets means beats. Yep. Uh, Just getting tripped, drop a grapple. You're not technically moving here. <laughs> Just becoming vertical. <laughs> Uh, no, it doesn't break a grapple. Uh, you are you are prone now, uh, and then this guy is going to attack you against your prone AC. Uh, I may have made a mistake. Why? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> oh, you mean by running up ahead? Yeah. Uh, you take eleven beepus. Uh, okay. And you can't be tripped again, so you're just sitting there. You're sitting pretty. Uh, that is the ward's turn. It is two time again. Okay, I maybe have a Tyler question. Okay. So, black powder bravado is attacks that is performing a deed that requires an attack roll. Wait, never mind. It's not a deed. I'm stupid and can't read. It just replaces one. I was going to ask if that applied to Art of the Gun, because I thought Art of the Gun was a deed, because it requires grit. But it isn't. Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, it's not important. I'll check after. I was just going to ask if that finally let me reroll any attack. Uh, I'm going to mm-hmm. shoot three times at the wolf. It's right next to me, and I don't so, provoke anymore. You don't provoke uh, anymore? Nope. Art of the Gun. I don't provoke right. attacks of opportunity when attacking with the, or reloading with a firearm. God damn. And okay. I count as threatening an area around me. Oh shit. Okay. I can't I can't shoot with I can't shoot when I'm threatening. I have to I can pistol bullet. Yeah. Uh Wait, she shooting. can't you uh, can the wolf. Sh- you can shoot it's out a with grit. Go ahead and roll your attacks. Yeah, sorry, I was reading. Uh Deadly and point blank rapid shot. As a free action, I go into controlled rage. There are two or more enemies adjacent to me, so I get crowd control. One, uh, that's a misfire on the fucking second one. Deal 23 points of damage, and then your gun bait jams. Fucking Rova gun. Uh, you put a bullet through this thing's uh, side, and it just rips open a line along its side. Uh, and that is two times turn. Now it actually this matters. Bella. It's gonna five foot step and take a bite at heavy. Okay. Uh yeah, five foot step so it doesn't provoke. I should probably add Pathfinder to that. Actually, it doesn't want to bite the tin can. It's going to bite two time. Uh, that'll be a 24. Nope. That's because of the armor. Goddamn. And crowd control. Two fucking 26 ACs. Okay. Yeah. Both of them. Da, 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 da. Uh, that is the ward's turn. Tone. Uh, yes. All right. Um, uh, all right. Uh, Tone's going to move here. I need the perfect line. Yeah. We. My last snow. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to shoot like this. I'm going to lightning bolt all of them at once. You got. You got to snap the corner. Yeah. Oh, am I? Am I? Well, well uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Ignore. Uh, I'm. I'm the red one. All the other ones are, are fakers. Uh, no. 
my one will be real. Okay, that's where uh, right, yep, get... so I'm, I'm going to get all um, four of those with a lightning bolt. Uh, my question is, yeah, I've already done a, uh, I've already done a recall knowledge on the Spriggans. If I remember correctly, they have resistance to cold. Is that right? Uh, is it cold or lightning? I don't remember. They have. Uh, go ahead and roll a knowledge uh, local. Well, what, what, I mean, this is like I, mean, I guess this is they don't have local. resistance. They don't have resistance to anything. Okay. Yeah, that was. But so, like it was roll a knowledge local. Okay. Ooh. They have vulnerability to fire. Ah. Well, in that case, yeah, that makes sense because they're made out of dried. They got the dried bramble wood, right? Yeah. Uh, in that crumble. case, I will well, use uh, versatile evocation to change that into a uh, uh, into a magma bolt. Uh, so. He, he pulls up his uh, he pulls up his finger, uh, and uh, a searing hot red lightning that a- after the trail it bubbles up in this like gloppy red magma that sears through them uh, in a line. Uh, cool. uh, yep. Here comes the uh, here comes the cast. The DC is 22, uh, 22 on a reflex save. It is uh, is actually one less damage than than it should be. It should be. Show 35 fire damage to every single one of those guys in line. 35 fire damage, got it. Uh, the brigand, the first brigand, fails and takes uh, the 17, 35 is 52 points of damage and is killed instantly. Uh, the warg it's next up is going to make a save uh, and it will fail and die as well oh my god this warg is going to make a save uh, and will pass and take only half damage which is 17 and die anyway <laughs> it won't die anyways uh, the Spriggan here is going to make a save uh, and will pass but will take uh, 25 points of damage uh, which is most of its health so it's barely standing wouldn't it be 26? oh no it's all of its remaining health because it no, it's reduced half to 17. Yeah. Plus 8 I, is... Okay, I, I thought it would double, or not double, but times one and a half and then be halved. No. Uh, this creature is going to pop because of the damage it took from last snow. Ah. And that is Tone's turn. Tone just out here rocking the goddamn Spartan laser. Uh, is that all you'd like to do? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I, uh, Tone would call out to say, uh, Last Snow is isolated. Move in to assist. And that'll be the end of his turn. Uh, last Snow. The thing you were holding on to is gone. Let's see. Uh, so hindsight, I did misuse grab, um, where I found it, I used it correctly, but, uh, I, as I got it from graceful grappler, I have to use an unarmed attack and spend a key. So I spent the key, um, just to kind of retcon it better, but your your unarmed attacks do a lot of damage anyway. So I don't think that's a problem. Yeah. It's near the same. I'm just. So you know, so you can remind me if I forget again. I will do uh, that. But I'm going to set it up so I don't forget again. Oh. Uh, so I'm still prone. Well, I guess that's half my movement to stand. Uh, half your movement to stand if you want to stand up. That, well, that, that will provoke, though. Um, will provoke. Yes. Then I will do this instead. 
I will use my drop boots and I can. Oh, I have to use half my speed, don't I? That's not enough. Huh? What the fuck are those? No, no it's. Uh, They're the boots that we got from. Uh... Yeah. You gave them to me. Oh, no, I'm. Sure, I did. <laughs> you fool, you gave these to me. Oh, now watch me jaunt away. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so you can teleport away if you want. I imagine it's the boots making you jauntily high step. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I could use these while prone to just like. Yep. Boop. You just boop. You're still prone. I mean, you don't stand up, but you're. It's like away you from them. <laughs> you but could. Just like you get unbelievable limbo skills. <laughs> you can take your standard action to move and stand up, right? Uh, uh, can I? Yeah, you can take your move action to stand up if you want to. Well, move action was to use the jaunt boots, but... Well, as a, could you stand up if you use your standard action for movement? Yeah, you can stand up if you use your standard action for movement. It's a move action, though, to use the jaunt boots. That's... I I didn't communicate what I wanted to. It's fine. I'll shut up. Okay. Can if I? If you use the jump moves, you teleport away. Yes. Instead. Yes. Hit one of them from the ground. You absolutely can. Yes. Okay. So I'm totally going to unarm. No, actually, I'm still going to use the cold dagger. And I'm going to hit this one with it real quick. So standard action, 29 to hit. Okay. It does not seem to inflict the bane damage against this creature. Noted. Uh. And, and then I will use my jaunt boots to boop. Okay, uh, not to limbo away. And then I will use my quick runner shirt uh, that allows <laughs> me an extra move action to stand up as a swift action. Wicked. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys watch Let Snow do a weird, uh, movement game, uh, and it is, uh, Sleepy's turn. Let Snow just, like, Gmod ricochet pings <laughs> away. <laughs> What's Sleepy doing? Oh, I'm thinking about lightning bolting, but Tony kind of took the fun out of it for me. You can <laughs> do it as notes. well! <laughs> but... I won't be the first guy to lightning bolt. I'll just be the second fiddle. You know how I feel about second fiddling. I, the one thing I know about you, Tyler, you hate second fiddling. <laughs> uh, always been the first fiddle, never the bridesmaid. Whenever anybody asks me about Tyler, I say, oh, Tyler, he's awesome. Just uh, don't make him play second fiddle. He hates that. Uh, that would work, right? Yeah, you have to cast defensively because the motherfucker got reach. Hold on, let me... <laughs> spot. Maybe that's not reachable. What's the range on, uh... It's fucking 100 plus feet. But... The issue is catching that guy. No, that catches all of them. That this... catches all of them? Yeah. Oh, I was doing it from corner. You just have to brush a corner. Lines are kind of wicked. Otherwise, they're practically useless compared to area of effect, like big, wide radius area of effect. Yeah, I do have I do have lightning bolt prepared. Good. I thought I didn't. Are you gonna throw a bolt out? I'm gonna I'm throw a bolt out. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk up kind of suddenly, look at Tom, and be like, "It's not magma, but like the finger guns." <laughs> Crack a Uh, this, you know, these first variants gonna make a reflex save. Good roll. Uh, he will pass, so we'll take half damage. Uh huh. Take 19 points of damage. He looks pretty fucking injured. Big warg over here is dead either way uh, and then this guy is going to pass and take half damage uh, but you leave all of them very wounded 
Well, now uh, I'm gonna get hit. Now I'm scared. Is that Sleepy's turn? Yeah. You are gonna get hit. I try to look as pathetic as possible. Like, please don't do it. I'm gonna charge you just to make sure he can hit you because you <laughs> fucking annihilated him. <laughs> no, please! I'm a monkey man. Power attack. <laughs> now one incoming. Uh, actually, quite the opposite. Oh, he crit. Uh, does a twenty? Yeah. Okay, you are going to take. I doubt it's that bad. Uh, thirty-one points of slashing damage. That could have been a lot worse. Could it have been? Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. I mean, it could have been if it was a different creature. Uh, it is Heavy's turn. All right, awesome, cool. Um, let's see. Because of the way fucking Pathfinder Diagonals work, he's not within... And feet, but no, you can target those squares. You just don't threaten them. I'll still five foot step. Okay. And I will uh, take a little bit of a risk, um, and I will uh, move action to gather power. And then, uh, I will entangling, or weighing infusion, which puts two burn, so I can only use the blade, which does less damage, but that is fine. Wah! Alright, 21, 21, and then 11. Oh, you didn't gather power? Uh, I did. Oh, right. I can only do the first one. I forgot that that's a thing now. Yeah. That's why you don't use infusions. <laughs> you just do over damage. <laughs> Look. Uh, this guy is mm, very injured. Uh, you suck him off very well. Oh, my God. He is uh, weighed down. Yes, he is. Uh, and, uh, yeah, his skin gets grayer. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Warg, this Warg is going to charge last snow because it is funny. Fuck, <laughs> what? <laughs> Made me laugh. 28. Uh, yeah, yeah. 15 points of damage, and you are tripped with a 30. <laughs> Time. Uh, uh, my gun is misfired, so I have to quick clear. I'll spend a point of grit to quick clear, so do it as a move action instead. Uh, what would my penalty be if I was shooting at 30 feet? Minus two, I believe. Okay. Uh, my first five increment five. is 15. So yeah. would it be. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. Uh, temporary. Minus two. Oh my god! Oh my god. Damn it. That it is was like <laughs> actual, like fucking. That like... was a jump scare. Yeah, that was, was... creepy pasta material. That was the, the fuck dog. Was that, game? That, was, that was a dog market. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> you don't care what that was. That was a jump yo, scare. Yo, what the dog doing? And I will shoot at the wolf in front of last I could probably put push a talk on now that I have headphones in. Yes. Oh, that's a bad roll. Or uh, 17 severe. points of damage. It's also that's not against touch. I, I, I mean, I just assume <laughs> a 29 hits. 29. 29 hits, you're good. Yeah, uh, 17 points of damage. Okay, 17 points of damage. Uh, he looks pretty injured. Uh, and that's me.
uh, Toad is going to move up, and he is going to chuck a uh, chuck snowball at this guy. Uh, let me go see if I can't find a good range. Move right here, and then standard action snowball. Oh, that's a natural four on the... Oh, if it was one less, I could have triggered my lucky number. <laughs> I do believe um, that's one off. No, yeah, yeah, yeah that's been sleep. Well, it's a, a four is a four. Let me take those L's. Uh, that would be my turn. Four okay. pitch? And it's called, it's definitely, it's not hit. I just miss. Well, where'd he go? Wait, what the hell? I am on push to talk. Dear God. <laughs> 12 hit. Hit his, does a 12 hit his touch? 12 hits because he is entangled. Oh! I did a thing! Good nice. job, Heavy. You did a thing. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes dream works. Theater. Yes. Uh, let's know. Dog above you. <laughs> there is a dog in your immediate vicinity. <laughs> you got that dog in you, and now you are in the dog. Why? It's dead. <laughs> Uh, and with that... With that, combat's over as you punch into this dog's snout. Its uh, nose cracks and it will collapse to the ground. Catfolk, punch! Oh my god, the cat took out the dog. Yep. Uh, I I, are we calling the session there? Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, hand out loot.